Hi everybody, welcome to Aikido Flow. Now, winter's coming, it's getting cold, big coats come out, boots come out. We have a gentleman by the name of the Bemused One. He wrote in and he asked him uh, what kind of techniques would work well in winter where your heavy clothes, a bit restricted, you know, you can't move as much. So what techniques would be appropriate in a situation like this? So today on Aikido Flow, you know what comes next. We're going to have a look at this. <laughs> okay, now, in Aikido we have certain techniques, a lot of techniques that require a lot of movement. Okay, now, you see here, I ride a motorcycle. It's my nice, warm motorcycle jacket. Got my trousers, my boots on. I'm quite restricted in my movement, so I wouldn't attempt something like a shiinagi, which does a lot of movements, or an idemanagi, lots of movement in those techniques. I wouldn't try to attempt that because, you know, I might get hot, might get sweaty. I'm still gonna smell good, because I always smell good, but hey, you know, too much movement, too many clothes, not a good combination, so we're going to show you some stuff that will work to your advantage if you're really kind of wearing bulky clothes. Okay, first technique, okay? Tenshinagi. Brilliant, okay? Because I'm bulked up, but I'm using that to my advantage. I'm quite heavy, I'm quite restricted in my movement, so I'm going to use this weight and extra bulk to just move forward, move in, and let my body weight do all the work for me. So he comes with attack, I just block it here, I'm just moving in and all I'm doing is I'm moving straight in here. I'm zigzagging behind him and I'm coming here and I'm using my body weight to take him down, lowering myself on him and that will just take him down because I've just moved in with proper force and you know momentum and just taking him down. That'll work great because I feel nice and heavy, my body weight will dominate the situation. Okay, next technique, sumiyotoshi, okay? Now, again, I'm moving in. I'm using my body weight to my advantage. So I'm just moving straight in, using it. So he comes with attack. I'm just taking him here. And all it is, I imagine this is my sword and I wanna just come in and chop him. So I'm coming in straight here. And as I'm moving, I'm stepping in and I'm coming down here, boom. Ah here and I'm just taking him down. It's just coming full force. You're, you're not blocking and attacking. It's just one bang, one solid movement, moving in, straight down, sumiotoshi, corner drop. He goes down, hits the ground like a clown. <laughs> okay, next technique. Doesn't really have a name. I took it from sumiotoshi. I've actually used this technique in a real life situation working on drawing a club. Now, it's like a sumo toshi, but I'm using my elbow. And because I'm moving with my elbow, it emphasizes the fact that my whole body weight is behind me. I'm not having to move too much, because as I say, my clothes are restricted, and I was moving in. So he comes with an attack here. I'm just ah. blocking here, and I'm just gonna either hit him hard in his chest, in his face, but as I move, these two work together. Boom, and I'm coming in and hitting him hard with my elbow, moving straight in. That's guaranteed to take him down. Winter's coming. You're not always dressed in such a way where you can do all these kind of, lots of moving around. In Aikido, we have a lot of those techniques. So, basically, I see it like this. If you're wearing a lot of clothes, you've got an extra weight, don't hesitate and move in straight. And then you'll take some people down. You know what I'm saying? Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time on Aikido Flow. Let's oh, go. Yeah. <laughs>